spoils shared in the southwest as rain forces draw. Somerset were bowled out for 248 on day three, 95 behind Gloucestershire, who with 50s from Charlesworth, Price and Hammond had built on that lead worth 341 at the close of play. The visitors with the advantage heading into the final day of this relegation dogfight between the two southwest rivals. There was no overnight declaration though, the captain out early in the day with no change to the score, caught by Brooks off Davy for 19. Gloucestershire had no intent to stay out there for too long. Taylor moved them on to 250 before falling, caught by Tom Abel down the ground off Brooks for 11. Payne took the long handle to Davy. 13 runs plundered off the 95th over, including this six cracked back over the bowler's head. He'd sign off with another, this one sent over the leg side, and with the score 279 for seven, and the visitors lead a healthy 374, Graham Van Buren declared their quick 20 minute burst with the bats over. Somerset would have to chase 375 to win, quite some ask, and Gloucestershire could sense that first victory of the season was theirs to take after a solid showing in the middle. Rain forced them off with Somerset 11 for none though, the delay prolonged and lunch was taken with rain teeming down on the Cooper Associates County ground. And that's where the match would finish. The draw agreed at what would have been tea, spoils shared in the Southwest Derby. It wasn't the result Gloucestershire had been desperate for. Their performance deserved the victory that has eluded them all season. They remain bottom of the pile while Somerset moved seven points clear of Warwickshire. Their relegation fears eased for now. They'll travel to Edgebaston next week for what could be a season-defining match against the defending champions and fellow relegation threatened side. Gloucestershire will watch on from home with a week's break from LV County Championship action.